If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in a video where you can see how to change your HMI screen from the PLC program. For this, uh, you can use job mailbox function, which you can find in your connections of your HMI. Okay, first we create some new data block, for example, with number 100 and name DB100 HMI. In this data block, we create variable of data type array and this array have four variables of data type word. K array of word with length four variables. K save the changes. Now we have create now we have some variable job mailbox. Now we can open the HMI project and open option connections and in area pointer of your HMI connection you can find function job mailbox you can activate it by enable checkbox ok and in PLC tag you can insert your created PLC tag for us it's job mailbox array and also we change the acquisition cycle time to 100 milliseconds ok this is how you how we define job mailbox in your HMI ok now we can create the our program for example in organization block number one we insert always through variable which we define in our PLC it's a memory system bit you can enable it in your hardware configuration of your PLC by clicking on the PLC go to the properties and in option system and clock memory you have system memory bits okay we can go back to the program for make it more pretty we change the name to always true and now we insert another variable for example, with address m100.0 as a marker with name change screen. If this variable have stayed true, on the positive edge we change the screen in our HMI. For this we use positive trigger, define the memory bit of this positive trigger for example with name change screen we define it for example as memory as a marker for example 100.1 and now for moving the values to the drop mailbox variable created in our data block HMI we use move instruction in this example we use free move instructions but also we define some new var some new variable for example with the name screen a number uh, of data type byte in this tag we you we insert the number of screen to which we want to change the screen of the HMI. As the first parameter of the job mailbox array is the number of the function of the 
job mailbox function of your HMI which you want to use. For changing the screen is the function number 51. And the second parameter is the number of the screen to which you want to change on your HMI. And another two parameters can be zero for this functionality. Okay, job mailbox variable number three and variable number four of the array will be zero. Okay, now we can save the project and now we can create <coughs> screens in our HMI project. Go to this. We go to the screen option change the name of the start screen to the one dot main screen also we create second screen with name two dot second screen and as next we create the third screen with name three dot third screen main screen have a number one second screen have a number two and third screen have a number three. We can see the number of the screen is number one for the main screen. <coughs> to see the changing change, changing of the screen by the PLC, we insert the text on these screens. And for example, on the main screen, we insert the text. This is screen number one. Okay, we make it a little bit bigger to see it good. For example, I don't know, 60 pixels. And also we allegement this text to the center in text format of the text field object. Same text we copy to the second screen but we change the number to number two and same on the third screen. Here we insert number three. Okay, we can save the project and now we can download changes to the PLC and NGMI. Okay, first we download changes 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 to the PLC by download to device, hardware and software configuration. OK, compiling configuration and then click on the load button. And click on the finish. Now we can download HMI to the device. all and load okay now we go online with the PLC program and also we go online with the HMI project we open the main organization block go online and also we can simulate <coughs> on our PLC the HMI project Okay, we insert it on the right side of the screen to see project of the HMI and also 
online program of the PLC okay now we can hide project 3 okay and now if we change for example we want to change screen number to the 2 to number 2 we want to change the screen of the HMI to the screen with number 2 okay to the second parameter of the job mailbox we insert number 2 and make a positive edge on the change screen tag and how we can see the screen on the HMI was changed to the screen number 2 now we try to change screen to the number 3 and also make the positive edge and how we can see edge my screen change to screen number three and now we try it again with main screen to changing the screen of the edge in my to screen number one make a positive edge and screen changed Okay, this is how job mailbox screen changing works in TIA Portal project. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.